Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley May. Well, I am so excited to film this video for you guys. It would be great if you guys could like and subscribe, join the family, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna travel the world, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna dance. I'm so excited you guys, like, get ready. Get ready for a fun channel, cause I am stoked. Okay, we're starting off with the mood board. Come on, inspiration. All right, so this mood board is actually from 2020. I did this literally a year ago, if not longer. It's huge. It has a lot going on. Make tea, not war. I love it. I love this mood board. This got me through it. <laughs> Ugh, all the time that I was by myself in quarantine in my apartment was going insane but this was just an inspiration and that is exactly why i want to film this video because i want to share the inspiration with you guys so today today we're gonna make mood boards for 2021 because it's a new year new us new new goals new goals so let's let's do this you guys so the first step is going to be from your heart to your own inspiration you're going to take a computer um you can technically do all these images out of a magazine otherwise if your goals are kind of big then create your own you have the internet on your side so i already did this because this this is going to take the most amount of time is getting together all the images that you want put on here you just want to get all your images together um, somewhere so that they're all laid out you know exactly how much you have you also want to make sure you have a variation of portrait and landscape this is important because if you only have portrait like they're not all gonna fit you know you don't want to just a bunch of the same kind of photos okay so now that you have your photos all together you're gonna choose a place that you can print off photos so today i'm gonna do walgreens just because it's close to me walgreens photo center photo center all right guys time to go shop and pick up the photos all right to begin we have our materials so you're gonna want some magazines to cut out some phrases and pictures then you're also going to get Mod Podge. This is going to be your paste or glue for the photos and everything else. You're going to want a brush to go along with it as well. A sponge one works great. And then your photos and then some tape if needed and then some scissors to cut the things out. So first you're going to cut out your pictures. You're going to want to do this based on the actual picture itself. If you have certain things you like about the picture, cutting it down to only that will work great so it can stand out. As well as being able to fit all the images, no matter what, you're going to want to trim some of them. You can actually do this while you're creating it as well. You can see that I end up doing that later in the video, but it's good to start out with some different shapes. All right, now it's time to put the photos together. This is gonna take the most amount of time and it feels like it's a little bit stressful at first because you don't really know where to start. But as long as you just color coordinate with sections um, and you just start believing in yourself, it'll actually start looking really good. Things will start going together and it'll all work out. Alright, now that you've gotten it all to look perfect, you'll probably end up having leftover photos anyways, um, but that's totally okay. You can keep those to the side. You're then going to glue everything down. So you're going to take your Mod Podge and your sponge, grab every single picture, paste it on the back, and then stick it to the board. Just make sure you do the ones that you want behind certain photos first because you're not going to be able to move it once it's placed down. But as you can see, the more you play with it, the more you can kind of finesse it in the right shape and angle that you actually end up wanting it so that it all fits onto one board. Once you have all of your pictures glued down, we're actually gonna seal the whole thing as one. Since we have some textures going on um, with bottom and top pictures, we're just gonna take the Mod Podge and pour it all over the poster. Make sure it's one big layer of basically glue. You're gonna wanna make sure any lifted edges from photos are completely flattened and you use enough glue to flatten them itself. So just like tapping the sponge down on the corners will help make sure that the glue gets in there and make sure all the photos stay together as one. 
now on to the magazines. All right, you're going to use these to cut out any little symbols or shapes that you find. I actually right away found this double rainbow that I wanted to feature in it, so I cut that out right away. And then you'll see later on that I did a bunch of phrases. This is super fun to do. You'll want to plan your phrases ahead of time just to watch out for those letters and everything like that. Um, but the phrases end up coming together are really good and it's really awesome. So just play around with it. Now that you have your phrases and the board is actually still going to be a little bit wet from the Mod Podge, you're going to use this to be able to stick them on where you want them. As you can see, I sit and move them around until I feel like it is perfect. This can take, you know, like five to ten minutes, so don't stress about it. Just keep it where you think it should be. And now you're going to use the Mod Podge and actually physically stick on the letters and pieces themselves. It's going to take a little bit of finessing to do so. Just make sure you do them underneath just like the photos and then pat them just like the corners for each of them to get that good layering of Mod Podge over. All right, and the last thing you have to do, you can just pull out some paint or some craft supplies and kind of just add your creativity twist to it. I always usually like to do a date or a year just to kind of tie the visions to one year. And then I also like to paint around anything that I want to stand out that isn't already. I like to add some paint around it. That's all it really takes to make something look really cool. So enjoy this creative time and just kind of put the paint where you want it to. And then the last thing I would recommend is just using a fan to let the board itself dry from all of the Mod Podge. This is Hayden. Say hi. Hi. Okay. But I finished it. Okay, let me show you guys. It's still wet, so you may not get the best reveal. <laughs> Whoa, maybe! Paint! Paint! Yes! We painted, yeah. we designed, Mano, Mano. we glued. You yeah. like it, Hayden? Yeah, I like. You Mano, like? Mano. What's your favorite part? Rainbow, 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 rainbow. Rainbow, it's a double rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, that in total only really took me, I mean, it took me like two hours in total with like ordering, picking out things and gluing and everything. Guys, this is the best thing you could do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And following along with me, I hope you guys made your own mood board for yourself that you can share with the world, share with your family, share with your friends. Just a little fun activity to do with yourself um, just to kind of start planning your future. So yeah, give this video a like if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Say bye. Come here. Bye. You <laughs> got your breadstick. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, okay, okay.